and welcome to the next in the Chamber's map series where we cover information, especially related to the economy, that we think you're interested in. And there's no economic issue that's out there that's more important than inflation right now. Yet we haven't seen a whole lot of regional numbers, certainly metropolitan numbers, so we thought we'd present those to you today. So we're going to go ahead and base our information uh, from Bureau of Labor Statistics who broke down the country into nine regions. When you color code the map, it provides a, a good snapshot because we know that nationwide 8.4% is the number that most people are talking about right now, but we do see a significant variation uh, from region to region and this map shows that. I'd say that from this map, there are two or three things that really jump out uh, that are uh, most surprising to me. Uh, the first is that you've got these two regions here that one is higher than I would have thought, one is less. This is uh, really green state, uh, states. Uh, North Dakota has a lot of energy uh, investment right now. Is that carrying that higher? But this region was higher. This region here in the mid-south uh, mid is actually lower than I would have thought. When you think about Tennessee, uh, you think about Nashville. All I know is in Illinois, I run into people all the time talking about second houses or wanting to go ahead to a place like Nashville, yet inflation is running lower than the national average. One of the other things that's really important that I think is going to be interesting to look at moving forward is the whole impact of remote work on where people live and as they bring their economic activity with them, its impact on inflation. I think you see that here in California, where already high rates uh, for everything from housing to costs of fuel, what have you, is really forcing an out-migration of people who can work in other states to go to places like Bozeman, Montana, Boise, Ohio, uh, Idaho, and Colorado as well. So this is actually not that surprising, but I think really interesting to look at moving forward, the remote work um, phenomenon and what it means to different regions of the state. So let's move on then to metropolitan areas. Now this is what's important in Illinois. Chicago is actually below the national average at about uh, 7.2. Atlanta all the way up here at 10%. Let's take a quick look at a map there. So 7.2% in Chicago below the national average. We're still a high cost region here, but St. Louis is actually a little higher at 8.4%. Not surprisingly, places like Texas and Florida are higher uh, in their inflation rates as more and more people move to those areas, especially from a place like New York, who's surprisingly low at 6.3, moving down to Florida, raising the cost of rental property, housing, and all sorts of things. So this is a quick look at inflation. We'll continue to monitor as a remains a dominant economic issue for us. Thank you.